All right, question. Whew, question. Yeah, question. Who, who's ever been lost before? I've been lost. Simon, you remember you've been lost with Taylor? No. All of you. Remember that feeling you got when you were lost? Felt good at the beginning, didn't it? Do whatever you want, you're going away, and then you realize, oh, where's mommy? Daddy, where is everyone? Well, we're going to learn about somebody that got lost today. We're going to learn about the lost son. The lost son. So Jesus told this story to illustrate a point. So I'm going to tell you the story today, just with a few pictures, and hopefully you'll learn something today as well. So there was a certain man, Jesus says, had two sons working for him. Do you remember this story? I can already see Zephy going, oh, I've heard this one before. So maybe you have heard this one before. So it's a good reminder. Man had two sons. And which one do you think is the good one or the bad one? Oh, I know it's blue. Maybe it's the good one. The red is the bad one. Well, in this story, red is the bad one. <laughs> so one of his sons says, Dad, can I have all my inheritance now? And then the father gives it to him. But what does that son then go and do? Does he go and spend that money wisely? No, he doesn't, does he? He goes off with all that he has from his dad. You can see his dad here. A little bit sad that his son's going away. And what does he do? Does he spend it wisely? No, he doesn't, does he? He goes out and he parties, he's hanging around with the wrong people. Look at him, he's drinking too much. Have you ever seen people who drink too much? I know, hey, it's not good, is it? They're called a drunkard. Drunkard, you don't want to drink too much. Here he is, see, look, there's people dancing, drinking, partying it up. The Bible talks about riotous living, right? We're just living pleasure and partying too much until he spent it all. He didn't have any of his money left. Who's here? This is like the, the landlord. He's come to get his rent. But he's got nothing left. He spent it all partying. Right? So, now that he doesn't have any money, he then has to go and work for somebody. So what does he do? He gets a job working, helping to feed the pigs. And because there was a famine in the land, there was no food, he was so hungry, he started wanting to eat the food that the pigs, he was feeding to the pigs. And then one day he thought, you know what? Why am I here? Slaving away, feeding these pigs when I could go back to my father. At least my father has something and I can you know, go back and be one of his servants even though I don't deserve to be his son anymore. So he comes back to his dad and he's humble and he says to his dad to ask to accept him back and he thought his dad may not accept him back. But how do you think his dad responded? Do you think his dad was happy or sad that he came back? What do you think, Zephy? He was happy, wasn't he? So sometimes when we get into a bit of trouble, we're a bit scared to come back and be humble and come back to our parents and say that we're sorry, say that we did something wrong. Sometimes we think our parents might be very upset with us. But here we see the father. He was happy that his son had said sorry. His son that was, was uh, sorry for what he had done and was coming back and he said, oh, he was so happy to see his son back. And what did his son say to the father? You can see that he's on his knees. He's still crying. He says to his dad, the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. So you see, first and foremost, we sin against God, don't we? And in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. And he's saying, I'm not even, I shouldn't even be called your son anymore, is the way I've behaved. But, the father was so happy to see him again. What did he do to him? He said, gave him a gold ring, gave him the best robe, and some new shoes as well. You see, look, here's the gold shoes. Here, you got the brown shoes. You got the brown old shoes here, but he's got some new shoes. So remember that ring? So what did he get? A ring, he got a robe, and he got some shoes. Ring, a robe, and some shoes, didn't he? He was so happy. And then he told his servants, hey, let's kill a calf, let's have a party. You know, we're going to celebrate that our son is back, our lost son. Oh, who's this? 
This is the son that stayed home. Does he look happy? No, he doesn't look happy, does he? So he sees them celebrating, and he wasn't happy about it. Now, why wasn't he happy about it? He says to his dad, how come this son that you had has spent all his living doing all this bad stuff, and now you throw a party for him, but you've never thrown a party for me. You never killed a cow, and we ate and had merry. So he got angry. Now, was that the right response? No, that wasn't the right response, was it? So what does his dad say to explain to his son? He says, hey, it was right that we should be happy because our other son was lost and was now is found. He's come back. He's repented. Right? He's come back to us and he's gotten right with God. And he says, hey, you still have your inheritance. You know, you haven't spent all yours, so you still have your inheritance as well. So he explained this to them. So what do we learn from this parable? We learn sometimes when we make mistakes, we need to be humble enough to come back and say sorry, and you'll be accepted, not only of God, but of your parents as well. And we know that the father was very happy that his son came back and that shows you we should be very happy when people get right with God, when they say they're sorry and they come back. Look at what it says here. Look what the Father says. It was meet that we should make merry. So this is to be happy and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. All right. So what questions do I have? What questions do I have? First question, see if you were paying attention. Do you remember the animal that the lost son was feeding when he got really hungry? Who remembers? Sarah. The pigs, that's right. And you see the pigs here? So he got so hungry in the famine, and he thought, oh, I'm going to eat the food that the pigs are eating. All right, what's another question? Let's see if you guys were paying attention. Who remembers... The three things that the father gave to the lost son when he came back because he was so happy. What's one of them? Just one of them. A ring. All right, what's the second one, Matea? A robe. And who remembers the last one? <laughs> Timothy. And shoes. Very good. You guys are paying attention. And my last question. Look at the shoes. Right? My last question is, do you remember why was the other brother so angry? Simon. That's right. And was that the right reaction or the wrong reaction? What do you think? That was the wrong reaction. Well, he should have been happy that his brother came back from his lost life. Okay, so today we're going to play some games. Hopefully you learned something from the story today. We want to be like the Father, don't we? Because sometimes in our life, we'll have people that do wrong and people that do right. And if we're the person that does wrong, we want to be humble and come back. And when people are humble and they come back and they say sorry, we should be happy about that, not angry about that. Isn't that right? All right, let's stand up. And Philip is going to organize some games for us today.